Hi everyone, it's Maria from UNR Extension Partners in Parenting. Today we will be making a sponge painted butterfly. Uh, the materials you will need is paint, whatever color paint you want to use, uh, glue, uh, pipe cleaner, a sponge, um, scissors, craft stick, and paper or um, cardstock paper will work best. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is do our butterfly. We're going to grab our paper and fold it in half. Remember, parents, you could um, help them trace one from a template or you could make your own. Um, this way, you're going to come around this in the middle and then come around to create one. Um, you just keep cutting all around, however you want to do it. Gonna um, help them cut it around and then once it's done cutting remember this are fine motor skills that they will be practicing so it will look something like this okay okay the um, next step is to cut the sponge in little pieces like this this is what the tool that we will be using to um, do our painting on our butterfly okay uh, remember um, parents this is a fun different tool technique for painting so by using the little sponge for example dip it in here and we're going to be decorating our butterfly like this with the little sponges that we cut out it's a fun way and a different technique Remember for them, um, by using all this, it's a fun way of learning different ways of painting. Okay, everyone, our butterfly should be dry by now. The next thing is to glue on the craft stick here in the middle. Okay, and after we're done gluing the craft stick, we're going to grab our pipe cleaner and fold it in half so we could cut cut it from here from the middle because this is going to be the little antennas for the butterfly after you're done cutting them you will uh curl it up a little from the top to make a little curly like that so you can glue it on into the stick Okay everyone and so far this is how it looks with the antennas on. Remember to glue the antennas in the back of the uh, craft stick. Um, now before we finish we want to just go over the stick with some, some paint. We're going to paint it. Or you could either use a, a little brush, paintbrush if you have a paintbrush. If not, you could just paint it with your little sponge as well. Remember um, to practice fine motor skills by doing this and also um, patience because we want to give it enough time for it to dry okay everyone and once it's dried it should look something like this thank you for watching hope to join us in the next video bye